Wright said to me, life gives a class every day. And today, I learned something, something else that lets me know that um, this election is crucial. And I'm going to say, this election to me is damned if you do and damned if you don't. You know, I can honestly say for the first time in my life, I don't know whether to go east or head west. Now, here's the thing. From the 80s, I would say the early 80s, I started hearing about NWO, okay? And I'm like, what is the NWO? Only to find out mm, some years later, the NWO is the acronym for the New World Order, okay? And even before then, I would say back in 1969, that period when I met Fella, I know how pure my thoughts, I know what my vision was. And here it is today, I never knew by sharing information, it would cause a change. What the change we wanted was for good. That good being for Africa to wake up and take her rightful place. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Beginning in Nigeria, we thought that if we brought a positive message to the world through music, that the people would listen and we would all come together. I mean, it was such a beautiful feeling, beautiful thoughts, beautiful movement, because Fella took that home to Nigeria and he applied it. And for applying goodness, he was beaten, he was jailed, and anyone that thought like him, I mean, horrible things happened. And you know what? It wasn't white on black crime. This time, it's black on black. Whew. Oh boy. When I think of Nigeria, not only Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. You know, Africa as the United States. Like that vision that Gaddafi had. Now, I don't know everything about Gaddafi. You know, nobody's 100% good. But I think we all have some good. Uh, me, my benchmark is Yeshua. And, but I was taught Jesus. So whether you call yourself an atheist, uh, whatever you call yourself, uh, me, I'm a spiritual person. You know, I think we're all connected. And when I say spiritual, I know that 
this in this vast universe that we're all connected. And based upon my scientific studies, okay, based upon my scientific studies and uh, historical knowledge and archaeological knowledge, you know, with the data machines and data um, information and gathering, I have left being a believer into what you call a knower. If I don't know it, let me just shut up and learn. Um, gone are the days when mainstream media could tell me anything and I would believe it. And gone are the days that, oh, the Holy Father, Holy Doctor, and the Holy Reverend, none of those people will be placed on a pedestal without earning the right to be there because I have questions, okay? Because if it don't make sense, you've got some explaining to do. But I would say 95% of the population, they're going for, uh, uh, what did they say? If the doctor said it, it must be right. If the reverend said it, it must be right, you know? And if the government told you, it must be right. People, I'm just saying, do your own research. So back to the reason why I'm talking today. I believe in the prophecy. And I think it was about 15 years ago I put into song, <laughs> like Sister Harriet Tubman, okay? You know, it was song that she would sing that would let the slaves know when it was time to make the move, okay? So, I believe in song because in song is where the spirit speaks to me. And I remember the last time the spirit spoke and I put it in song. And you know, I gave away many of those CDs. Um, uh, I gave some away. I might have sold a few too, maybe at the Broadway musical. But um, mainly it was a giveaway. And if you purchased the book, fella and me, you automatically got a copy and only those people with autographed copies are the ones that actually purchased the book. And what only, I only counted 249 copies that came into America, but they say that 250 came in. So all I'm saying about my book is that it is a collector's item. Um, they were originally printed and published in the country of Nigeria. Uh, I haven't done an American book deal, so you won't be able to get it on Amazon or any place like that. You'd have to get it personally from me. But being that um, it took me more than 10 years to write and the research was done by Shedu Oye Kunle, who is now late, but we worked hand in hand. I mean, Shegu came to me, what? I don't know if it was in probably 2005, 2006, and what, talking about doing a film. He studied here in the USA. Um, but anyway, he's now an ancestor. Um, he made an exit during the COVID crises. So, you know, quite a few, as did Tony Allen, you know. But anyway, as I was saying, life has a lesson or life has a class every day. 
And in today's lesson, I saw another crumb. And here it is. Now that I've seen it, I want to tell you about it so you know too. And some of you will be blessed to hear and see where many, while many will remain asleep, but it's our job to wake up our brothers and our sisters. But the NWO, NWO is in full effect. And it was an incident today because I was persistent in not accepting no as an answer. I needed to know why. I found out the way our system is set up now, it is gradually moving us into the one world order. Biden has already signed the UN Declaration for One World. So what's coming is Sister Celestial called it the B system. She's a prophet, a prophetess, you know? She's one of many. Fela, I would say, was a prophet. He told Nigerians, what to do, and they fail to listen. I wrote about it on a CD that I put out, you know, and when I think about the titles on that CD, the songs that I wrote, like I said, I only write when it's a spiritual divine connection coming to me, giving information to me, and I put it in music because I want the people to have a good time, but at the same time, while you're having a good time, hear what's being said. Think about your future. And the future I'm talking about are those children, the ones that you've given birth to, the ones that you have reared, you know, and then there's those that were just thrown away. They they're here too. They have not been nurtured the way I was nurtured. But anyway, I just wanted you to know that today I got a lesson. Thank you for listening. Oh, and if you want to listen to more of Mama Afro Beats or Mama Africa speak, hit and like that subscribe button. Ciao for now. I said what I meant. I meant what I said.